Hey guys, so I was planning on uploading a speeding camera comparison today, but a lot of you really liked the LGB30 and Jaded Oreo video I uploaded yesterday. So, planning on doing the same thing here with the HTC 11 just downloaded it, been using it for a few hours, and some pretty good improvements here. Um, and also, guys, it's about 11 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 11 degrees Celsius, so really don't want to go outside and film the uh, camera portion of that video. So during this video, we're going to go over new features of Android 8 Oreo. I'm uh, going to do a couple quick speed test comparisons as well. And I think most of you guys know this by now, but just a quick look at the Easter egg. So I did record a quick video of uh, this phone on N7 Nougat before I upgraded, so I'm going to show you guys a quick speed test comparison of that. So next up we have a boot up test, seeing if it's any faster here on Android 8 Oreo. Uh, on the left side I have a video I filmed when I was still on N7 Nougat. And of course, on the right, the upgraded version of Android Oreo. Three, two, one, go. So, so far, it's a bit faster on the U11. Now, the animation, everything on the boot up is exactly the same, but it should be about two, three seconds faster here. And U is up. There you go, up now on NG8 Oreo. And yeah, about two seconds behind there on the uh, Nougat version. So this upgrade has a lot of good new features, and go over that in a second. But before that guys, real quick, we're gonna load up some apps, see how fast this phone is. So speed is one of the big areas the phone is supposed to improve with the update. And I have to say guys, just from loading up the apps, I mean the phone is already insanely fast, but I think it actually may be a tad bit faster now. And real quick, we're going to look at the multitasking as well. And of course, we'll have full, uh, full speed test, cam test comparisons, uh, maybe next week, later this week, but... So far guys, looking pretty promising here. Yeah, all these pretty much, you, you really can't get any better than this guys. And I think this year when the Snapdragon 45 comes out, gonna have to make this test a bit harder. Probably have like eight games up rather than four. But yeah, this is just crazy fast here. No reloading at all. Okay, so now let's get to the new features. So first off, we have some interface changes. Uh, minor changes here, but I did film a quick video of it. Still on N7 Nougat on the left side here. So as you see, the apps are a bit more rounded on Oreo. Which I guess makes sense because Oreos are round. Uh, the quick settings used to be, actually let me rewind a bit here. Used to be black here, now it's white. Uh, I think a couple other minor changes there, but not much. Now, something pretty awesome here, if you guys don't already know, definitely, definitely need to know this. So to access the app drawer, rather than just pressing the button right here, all you do is you swipe up like this. And you can also swipe down like this just to close out of it. But even cooler than that, guys, if you swipe down like this, it brings up the notification bar. Now it's pretty awesome because obviously the phone's getting a lot bigger now. Pretty hard to access notification bar at the top here. But with this, very, very simple. So once again, anywhere on the home screen, to swipe up once to access the app drawer. And swipe down to access the notification bar. Next up, something that's new to Android 8 Oreo in general is picture in picture mode. And here's a look at some of the apps that support that. So for those of you guys not aware, it's basically a way to have a picture, uh, rather have a video playing, or it could be something similar like Maps, Google Maps, uh, well hopefully one day Skype call, but as of now it's just Google Duo call, video call. Um, but just showing you guys a quick example of that with video. Actually picked a different video with a uh, widescreen look. And have a nice dog video for you guys. So as you see, all I did is press the home button and I have this picture in picture right here. So I can drag it anywhere on the screen. Uh, of course, can do whatever I want in the background as well. Tap on it once to make it bigger. 
and to dismiss it, you would press on the X or swipe down. But even if you dismiss it, guys, it's still going to be in the background here. Oops, one second, guys. So as you see, I uh, did dismiss it, but did not actually close out of Chrome, still playing here. Next up, we have a new feature called Edge Launcher. And I'm sure most of you guys are aware that if you squeeze your phone like this, it brings up an app. So for example, I have the camera app. But there's a new alternative to that that you guys may prefer more. So go into your settings, first of all. And then search for Edge. You want to click here on Edge Sense. Click on Customize Squeeze Action. So as you see, I currently have the camera, but instead we're going to click here on Edge Launcher. So once again, squeezing the phone. As you guys see now, a lot of apps here on the side. So of course you can add them by pressing here. You can also press the settings right here. And if you want them on the other side of the screen, just swipe, uh, swipe to the left like that. Left to right. And you also have the calendar at the top. So it's a pretty cool way to be able to access a lot of apps at the same time. Now there have been improvements to the battery as well. So for example, if you go into battery usage in the settings, uh, you can now switch between app usage and full device usage. Just a more in-depth way to look exactly how your battery is being used. But even more important than that guys, uh, the battery overall is supposed to be improved. Now from what I've heard, it's mostly in the standby mode. And of course, we'll actually have to do a battery test to see if that's true. But um, generally guys, the Android Oreo update is pretty good for the battery life. Also there's improvements here to notifications. So for example, you have notification dots now. So I have a calendar notification right there as you guys see a green, uh, green bat, actually I think they're called badges on the HEC. Uh, green dot there in the top right corner. So if I long press on it, as you guys see more options right there. And also if I swipe down here, uh, actually that same notification right here. And don't swipe too much, just swipe a little bit like that. And now we have an option here for a timer. So it seems that for one hour, but if you go into the icon badges, in the settings, there's more options there in terms of timing. So I'm filming the last portion of this using HC11 front face of camera. Uh, excellent video and audio quality on this. Now, if I miss anything, if there was any features, uh, if there were any features I forgot to mention, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them. Now, I do have a lot more HTC videos planned, uh, including camera tests, speed test comparisons, and more. So, if you guys like the video on some more, you can press the button in the middle there, uh, right on my face, press that button in there, subscribe for more. Or you can go and press it in the top left or the top right for another video right now. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.